Ooh, these lights are bright. It is early in the morning. Okay. So, I already tried this makeup yesterday, and it came out okay, but I'm such a visual person that, like, I can picture something in my head, and then I'll try to put it on, and it's not exactly what I want, so usually my second or third try comes out better. A lot of people on Instagram said I should post it anyway, but I'm just got up early this morning and I'm going to film it. The best part about this look is that it looks so cool and you will be able to accomplish it with stuff you probably already own. Sorry, there's so many dogs happening right now. I'm going to be using some black liners, white liners, some brown liners that I have from doing freckles and stuff. Some are felt tips, some are liquids, some are coals or pencils just an array of different things. And I'm also going to be using the Morphe 3502 and the Morphe 350 original palette just for some of the orange tones and the brown tones and there's a really good black in this palette. So any warm colors will do. Any like good oranges that you have, if you have a really corally orange blush that'll work, you should be able to accomplish this look with stuff that you already own, which is probably my favorite part about it. And that is probably how a lot of my Halloween looks are going to be. So let's just jump right into this. I am going to jump into a voiceover just because I feel like I zone in when I do stuff like this. And I also jump around a lot when I do my Halloween looks. That's just how I operate. Hopefully it's still pretty easy to follow and you can. Definitely always go check out my Instagram if you just like to look at the picture. I will be posting lots of pictures of all of my Halloween looks so you'll have plenty of different angles and reference photos if you really want to go for the exact look that I do. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment any suggestions that you want to see or if you're planning to be something specific but you don't really know how to accomplish that, definitely let me know and I will do my best to help you out. So yes, I'm so excited that it's Halloween. This is like Love this. Let's get into this video. Okay, so first we are going to start with a mixture of some of the orange and brown shades, and I'm going to start shading kind of the outer contour parts of my face. I do end up going in later and deepening these up, but I thought it would just look a bit, little bit more seamless and kind of help me sh with the shape that I was going for if I kind of did the contour part first and did a lot of the filling in of the color because you can always add shading like we're going to do in a little bit. I just thought getting like a base color down at least on the perimeter of my face would be really helpful and it's good to just kind of get it out of the way. Obviously if you don't have a shaved head you don't have to put it so far onto your head as I do but I wanted to look completely orange when I was in pictures, so I had to put it pretty far back on my head just to make it look that way when I'm looking straight forward. So then I'm going to take this e.l.f. brown, I believe this is a brow pencil. You can use any brown eyeliner or even an eyeshadow. I just find the pencil form kind of easier to do lines with, so I'm going to make kind of the pumpkin lines, if that makes sense. So I do three on each side because I wanted to leave the center of my face free because this is glam and grunge. So I want the center of my face to be very, very glam and I wanted to leave space for the teeth and everything later. So then I'm just taking some more browns and reds and oranges and I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. We are going to keep pretty much re-deepening the line and then blending out and deepening the line and blending out. That is kind of the process with this and it just makes the the roundness look a little bit more real. It makes, how do you explain that? It gives more of that kind of bulbous illusion, like each little part is its own section, its own little like round section, kind of like a pumpkin is. So now I'm going in with a little bit of a skinnier pencil brush and some dark browns and maybe a little black and just going right down the center and then we're going to blend that out. Again, it's just a process of adding and blending, adding and blending. And each time you go in with a darker shade, you're gonna make that line thinner and thinner and thinner till the final line is going to be a black liner. So that'll be the deepest part of the crease. And then everything else is kind of the shading of that situation. So it's actually casting a shadow, like the light is actually hitting it. Like there's actually 
a crevice there or a crease or a line. Just make sure that when you're blending these, you keep that up and down motion. If you start blending side to side, you're going to just end up looking really messy and dirty and muddy. You need to keep it linear so that it actually looks like a straight or I guess curved line. If you start blending sideways, it's gonna start looking like smudges. So now we're going in with that black liner. This is just a Wet n Wild Coal black liner. I suggest a coal because they're much easier to blend out, but you can use whatever you have on hand. These Wet n Wild ones are a dollar, so if you don't have any liners and you need some colored liners, then I would say go for these ones, especially for Halloween looks, because you are probably gonna go through a lot of liner for these. So then here I am deepening up the contours because I wanted them to be a little bit more brown, like very dark because I wanted it to still look like a face. Like I wanted it to look like you're a pumpkin person. So I wanted the contours and the highlights that you would normally have with cheekbones and eyes and nose to all stand out. So I'm kind of going in and really intensely contouring everything. So I'm gonna contour the nose and kind of that inner socket of the eye up by the brow. And I'm going to kind of smoke out all around the eyes as well. Then I just take this big angled brush from BH Cosmetics and a light orange to kind of help blend that out because I wanted to keep the highlight kind of where like the most round part of your cheek is. Again, just trying to keep the regular face highlight and contour as much as we can while also trying to look like a pumpkin human. If that makes sense. So then I'm going in with some of the darker browns and reds and oranges and deepening up that nose contour. I wanted the nose and that inner socket of the eye to be very intense because I wanted to make sure that it still looked like a human nose. Same with the highlights and stuff on the eyes and down the center of the face. I really wanted it to look super glam and super human-like while also looking orange. So I do go very intense with these shades and it'll look so much better in person. This is kind of one of those looks that like more is almost better because when you take pictures, especially with flash photography, it is going to look so, so good. If these contours are really, really intense, it's gonna look so realistic. So then I'm going in with the jumbo white, what is this called, the NYX jumbo pencil or something like that in the shade Milk, which is the white shade. And I'm adding highlights to the center of the face, the inner corner and the brow bone. And then on that first little section, since it was closest to the front and right there on the cheekbone, I added most of the highlight right on the top of my cheekbone and then kind of blended it up and down in a linear way. So that again, it makes it look like its own little round section. And then when we go in with the highlight shade that I'm about to go in with, it'll really, really pop. I just kind of blend that out with a random, I believe this is a Eco Tools brush that I've had for forever, just to kind of blend it in, kind of buff it out a little bit. And I wanted to put down a white pencil so that the highlights would really, really pop and have something to stick to. So then I go in with like the gold shade and I start highlighting those high points. On the side of the cheek, I put the most intensity of that highlight right on the top of the cheekbone and then I kind of blend whatever's left up and down because I did want the most intense pop on the cheek to be right there on the cheekbone. So then I contour my nose, again, super intensely. We have like a total Tin Man nose happening, but I think it totally works with this look. I did some really intense brows. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought it really added to the look. I was kind of thinking of this as a nod to Halloween Town, how people kind of look like monsters, but some of them also really, really look like humans. So I wanted to kind of blend those things together, like monster, grungy attributes, like very bushy brows, being a pumpkin human, really crazy teeth that we're gonna do later. That's all monstery stuff, but then I also went in glam aspects. So you kind of have to pick and choose if you wanna do a look like this, what parts you wanna be really grungy or monster-esque, and what parts you want to be very human and glam. I still kept it a little bit glam because I made sure I kept the bottom very clean and I still kept a very like arched shape. I just tried to make them as fluffy as possible. I'm switching between some regular brow powders and the Wet n Wild and the e.l.f. brown felt hip liners to make the hair like strokes. And these are really intense and they stay for a long time and I really, really like them. I use these for freckles and I do these brows kind of on a regular basis, even when I'm doing regular makeup. So I also popped on some mascara and then I'm going to move on to the teeth. 
So I always find it easy to put down the white part first. That just helps me kind of map out where I want the stuff to be, like where I want the teeth to be. And then I go in with the black and start kind of doing the base shading. So you'll see me do kind of like this little X shape in between each tooth. And then I do the little lines on the outside as well. Then honestly, when we blend out, it's just a lot of blending. It's kind of like a really good eye look that you want to look super duper good. Kind of the more, the better. You know, you go in with that color one more time and blend it out one more time. It's going to look that much better. So you'll see me kind of blend things in. I'm kind of using the brow. I'm kind of using the brow brush, the angled brow brush to make some lines, striations, stuff like that. And then I'll blend them out and then I'll make more. It'll just make it look that much more realistic kind of like very worn like you would expect like a halloween look to be if you keep adding layers of color and blended and unblended things and stuff like that so this is just all about taking a little bit of time and just playing with the colors playing with the shapes you can always go back and add more white on top if you feel like you dirtied it up too much you blended out too far you'll see me do that a couple of times i will say that you want the brightest white to be right in the front and then as the teeth kind of go out to the outsides of your face you want them to become a little bit darker more dingy so it actually gives depth to the look and it kind of really helps with the shape and dimension of the face if the brightest white teeth are the like first four on the top and bottom and then as they start going outwards they start getting a little bit more faded dingy shaded if that makes sense so here i'm going back in with that brown liner and i'm just doing some messy smudgy liner around the eyes because i think they needed to have a little bit more definition and then i'm just going in and kind of blending out some shadow back in that inner or the outer corner rather and underneath as well and then i'm just going in with with some dark browns and some black and making some more lines and striations underneath the eye just to kind of make it look like it's a kind of a worn grungy monster pumpkin instead of so pristine and clean nothing too intense but something just to add a little bit more detail and more life to the look in general so then you i kind of just go in take a step back add a little bit more color to the teeth you just have to do that sometimes that's kind of why i hop around a lot for these looks you just have to take a step back sometimes and look at it and really decide what you want to do if you want to add more if you think it's fine the way it is then that's fine so then i i started thinking about pumpkins and like how sometimes they have those little like growths and little knobs and stuff on them so i started just poking around with some of the black liquid liners and brown liquid liners and felt tip liners that i have and kind of making little dots it just adds that much more like effort and texture to the look and makes it look so cool it just adds this extra something that i feel like it really really needed I personally didn't add lashes for this look, but you can go ahead and do that if you want to make it extra, extra glam, but I think it still looked really cool without lashes. So then I'm kind of going in and re-highlighting some areas, just making sure that they really pop and they're really glowing the way I want them to, because I personally like to glow whether I'm a regular human or a pumpkin human. So then I am dragging this down. This all depends on what kind of outfit you're wearing. I really dragged this down way too far for the shirt that I put on right after this, but just to kind of give you an idea of something that you could do again it just depends on what you're wearing how far you want to take these colors down but I'm just basically doing exactly what I did on the face I'm going in with some orangish tones reddish tones brown tones and just kind of giving an all over color and then I'm taking the darker oranges and very dark browns and maybe even a little black and kind of shading the deeper parts and then I am also going to highlight the lighter parts later on just because my face was so shiny and highlighted I wanted my neck to match as well. I'm also going to go in with those liners and make dots on my neck as well. You can drag the lines down but I kind of just didn't want to do that for my look. I wanted it to look like I was a pumpkin human but just my head was like the actual pumpkin part but I do the dots on my neck. Again, for pictures and stuff, you're definitely going to want to shade a lot under your jawline in those little crevices like on your collarbone and right there in the middle of the neck like I, you saw me doing. And also even like right underneath your ears and on the side of the neck and like right on the top of your shoulders because when you're looking straight on in a photo, it's really going to photograph really, really well and make everything pop and just look so cool and so realistic. It's gonna look amazing, especially with flash photography. But this is me just highlighting, just making sure the right things pop and the right things shine, so. 
that's really fun. And then I personally popped on this like black high collared top, which I thought was like really cool. It kind of made it look like not sophisticated, but you know that guy, the skull guy, the guy who has this tattooed like skull skeleton all over his body. He always does photo shoots and he's wearing like this most dapper clothing ever. So I thought that that would be really, really cool with a look like this. I think Halloween looks where you're like a pumpkin or a werewolf or a lion or something like that, like where your face is really crazy done up and then you're wearing like a suit or something or like a really cool fancy dress. I think that looks so freaking cool. I don't know what my obsession is with that. So I kind of was going for that look with this top. I don't know if I look that dapper or anything, but that's kind of the vibe that I was trying to give off anyway. So I really do love this look. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will try my best to help you in the comment section below and definitely leave any suggestions that you want to see. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check the description for everything that I used on or off camera. This is all on camera because I did my brows and everything on camera. Like, I don't normally do that. But anyway, check the description bar for below for everything that I used and other links to like my Instagram and stuff. So. I think that's all I have to say for now. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye.